Matt fans, welcome back. Today we are looking at Matt Tyler plugin in QGIS 3. We cover quite a lot in this video, looking at Matt Tyler to begin with. We'll also see how you can change the ocean's orange, pink or green, depending on your preference. And that's thanks to native support for vector tiles, thanks to Lutra Consulting. If you'd like to hear Sabre from Lutra talk about vector tiles in much more detail, you can catch him at the FOSS4G UK online conference, which is coming up this Wednesday. <laughs> I'm using QGIS 3.12, and this is the first time I will have used Matt Tyler plugin. So first up, I'll go to plugins, manage and install plugins, search for Matt Tyler, there we can see it. Over on the right hand side, don't forget to check out the homepage, bug chakra, code repository, all these fun things. And you can read a little bit about what it does. We're not going to look at all the facets of Matt Tyler today, just a few. But let's install this plugin, and our plugin has successfully installed. So I'm just going to close out of this, I am going to close out of this and restart QGIS 3.12. Upon restarting QGIS 3.12, I now have a new option in my browser panel. It's nice and colourful and it's called Map Tyler. And I have some basic maps that I could bring into my project. So let's do that. I'm just going to double click on basic. Access error occurred. Please confirm your API key. This is the first time I've used Map Tyler and therefore I need to get an API key. I'm just going to do that and if I do not have a key, I can click the link. I will need to sign in or create an account and I'm just going to sign in with my Google account. A key will pop up and I can copy that and I should be able to add that into QGIS. Okay that. And let's try adding that basic map tiler again. Ah, and there it is. Looks a little squished. But if we zoom in, it looks very unsquished. As this is a web map, I would like to change my CRS to 3857, the wonderful pseudo Makata. <coughs> now then, things to note. If we have a look in our layers panel, this symbol hopefully should be familiar as a raster symbol. And these are raster tiles that are being served to us. The point of this, Usually these tiles are 256 pixels by 256 pixels. And as we zoom in, tiles with more detail will be loaded. And tiling this way, we can load things a lot more quickly. And really when you think about it, Google Maps or Google Earth, they're tiling as well. This can be really useful for mobile because we're only using what we use. And also the server can cache tiles as well. If we were to go into the layer properties and go to symbology, you can see that this is the raster options that are normally presented to us when dealing with rasters. A very cool option that Matt Tyler plugin gives us is customization. So if I don't like the basic map, let's say for example, the blueness of the sea really affronts me, I can right click on the basic and customize in the cloud. That looks a little bit like this. And for my water, I would like to make the seas orange. Okay, that, and now I have got some orange oceans. I'll hit save on the orange oceans, and I'm gonna call it basic orange. Rendering formats, PNG, that's great. I will create. And my map is created. Now let's publish it. This will make my map public in the production system. Are you sure you want to publish the map basic orange? Of course I do. Who wouldn't want orange seas? We've got an embeddable viewer. We've got a vector style and we've got raster tiles. Now you need to upgrade in order to get your raster tiles, upgrade to get a web map tile service and upgrade to get a static map as an image. 
However, we can get an embeddable viewer and we can also use vector style. Now I'm quite interested in the vector style, so I'm just going to copy that link. And that is now on my clipboard. I might put it in Notepad just to keep it safe. Upgrading is one option, but we do have other styles available to us. Let's have a look at Bright. Turn off Basic, there is Bright. Let's have a look at Satellite. Turn off Bright, there is Satellite. Now you can play around with these in your own time. Do have fun. Let me know what your favorite is in the comments below. There are also other options available apart from the defaults. If I right click on that and go to add a new map, it will ask for a URL if we've got one. I don't at the moment. And a Map Tyler Cloud as well. So on Map Tyler Cloud, we have all these fun things. Let's bring in OS Open Zoom Stack Lite. And that is OS Open Zoom Stack brought in in Raster Tiles. So now I've been using QGIS 3.12, but here I have opened up the development version. That is QGIS 3.13. If you'd like to see how to install the development version, you can have a look at this video. In the new version, we have something by default called Vector Tiles. It's baked into the software, and that's many thanks to Lutra Consulting. If you'd like to learn more about Vector Tiles, Sabre will be giving a talk in the upcoming conference and you can get your tickets here. Hope to see you there on Wednesday. Now for the Map Tiler plugin, what does this mean? Well, it means that we can deal with vector tiles natively. So if I right click on my basic, I have the option to bring it in as a raster or bring it in as a vector. So I'm going to choose vector this time. Let's see what happens. In it comes, all things look equal, apart from a little error message up there. We'll get rid of that. But over on the layers panel, you can see that this is now a group. And we have the symbol for a vector tile. Interesting. Now, if I open up the properties of this, on the symbology, all of a sudden we have access to the symbology, as you might imagine, for a vector layer. Pretty cool. We could also add in our own map. Do you remember that JSON URL that I copied? Let's try and use that and bring in our changes. I can go to Map Tyler, right click, add a new map. It's asking for a JSON URL. And if you remember, I copied the JSON URL to my clipboard. So I'm just going to put that in there and I'm going to give it the name of whoops, basic orange and OK that. Now we have a new map tiler option and I'm going to add that layer in. If I turn off the basic, there's the basic orange that we created. The map tiler plugin has loads and loads of options and you can see on the map tiler website all the other apps and great stuff that you can do with them. Now here I am on the OS website and I'm just going to download Open Zoom Stack in vector tile format or MB tiles. It's two and a half gig, so that might take a little while. I'm just going to navigate to where I saved that MBT file, which is down here. And you can see again, it's got that vector tile symbol. So if I double click on that, it's going to pop in. There we can see it. I'm just going to move it out of that group and turn everything else off. Goodbye, basic orange. And if I start zooming in, now this doesn't look very pretty at all. Looks like a right old mess. But because we have native support for vector tiles and we have map tiler in here with OS UK Open Zoom Sat Lite available, I can add this in as a vector and if I go to this vector tile and go to the styles, I'm going to copy that style and then go to my OS Open Zoom Stack MB tiles and I'm going to paste that style in. So we can switch styles between OS Open Zoom Stack. Now, say to show me that trick, it's pretty neat. Um, I guess that your data has to be in a similar structure for that to work, but very cool. And if you'd like to know more, don't forget to go to Phosphor G UK. You can get tickets on Eventbrite. 
and I'll have links below to that website. Do explore Matt Tyler, do explore vector tiles on your own and don't forget you can watch my earlier video on how to install the development version. But that's all for now. Thank you very much for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment below and happy mapping.